This is Trump Loy on ThinkTech, connecting the dots on what our president is doing and how it compares with what has gone before and what it portends for the future. First, the Toronto Star reports that every investor lost money on the Trump Tower in Toronto, but that Donald Trump made millions anyway. At this point, the scenario sounds so familiar and even predictable. So the beat continues on the president's special business approach that has so often left his investors, partners, and customers in the dark and in the lurch. Is his way of doing business with the Congress, the courts, and the country any better? What can we expect for the public? Then the Times reports that after Harvey and Irma, the people of Texas and Florida are waiting weeks for FEMA's help, much less response. Of course, the people of Puerto Rico are having an experience which is much worse. Has Trump and his administration provided sufficient, even baseline, assistance for these people? Or is it rather that he has turned his back on them in favor of the politics and policies of polarizations and alienation? Shouldn't the president be more caring about these disaster victims? What will happen when similar disasters strike in the future? And to add to that, Trump is in another ridiculous and unimaginable public feud, this time with the bereaved widow of a U.S. soldier who was among a group of soldiers recently killed in Africa. A feud with the bereaved widow? It all seems so personal, egotistical, uncaring, and insensitive. It reminds us of so many other feuds he has had. Is this appropriate or just another scene in an ongoing senseless, tasteless reality show distracting us yet again from the failure of his administration. How are other servicemen and women and their survivors supposed to react? Anyway, thanks for watching Trump Loy. We'll be back with more as the Trump administration unfolds and unravels going forward.